Okay, this this is a piece of metal scaffolding. On this one, we're going to put metal scaffolding throughout our tie lines. As you can see, I've marked where our scaffolding is going to be spaced. Roughly every 64 inches, we like to put our scaffold at. And you can see the slots in, there's slots in this, uh, this vertical piece as well. And it's meant to put your screw at the top of the slot and that makes up for any settlement in the block. So if the block's going to settle, so if the block's going to settle, this screw is going to slide down the slot. So there won't be any, nothing will get hung up. So we'll go along and put all these on and then we'll uh, throw the diagonals on and show you how that works. As you can see, this, this is our diagonal brace now. It attaches to the, uh, to the wall. So we want to be careful where we set our height. In this case, we'll go about here. You want a comfortable working height. And this scaffold actually has some nice pieces. It's nice and new. So this diagonal brace spins like so. So what happens is you have to set your your foot. It's threaded. So this gives you the opportunity to push your wall in or out. We'll fasten this to the floor in a specific. We'll set a nailer down. We'll nail it. I'll get a scaffold bracket here, which is a little triangular piece that our scaffold's going to sit on. And depending on the scaffold, this stuff's all offset to the one side. So you want to put it so it sits to this side of this turnbuckle. And there you go. Scaffold plank sits on there. We have a nice walk platform to work off.